What's going on guys? Chase, chasewins.com. Happy Sunday, everybody. Cheers to you. Hope everyone had a great Saturday. Great start to college football. It's here, guys. And um, let's get on it. Let's do a recap. Yesterday was a busy, busy day. Oh, set my uh, phone and my iPad on the uh, back of my wife's car yesterday where we were getting ready to load some stuff up. And then she goes to move it and pulls it up. They topple off, both break. And uh, so I had to spend almost three hours yesterday at Sprint getting a new phone and then drop my uh, iPad off at the Apple store, which I got to go get in a little while. So needless to say, a lot of useless running around yesterday. But hey, don't put your shit on the back of someone's car. So let's do a recap. And uh, one thing that I want to throw out there is we... Um, we do not have a play of the week this week. We have not had one yet. We will not have one today, but we don't force anything. If the if the numbers just aren't there, we don't force them. And so, you know, we're not like some people that everything has to be a top rated 7 million unit play and then they lose and they don't calculate the juice for the 7 million units lost and they lose hundreds and hundreds of units and then they preach transparency, but yet they're not transparent because they're not honest about everything. And everything that they've always preached and went against, they contradict by going right against their own BS that they speak of. Everything that I've always said, the way that I do things, I've never once steered away or changed that. And I never will, whether people like it or not. Couldn't care less. That's what I do. That's the way I run things. That's the way I always have, and that's the way I always will. But at least I know that I can sleep at night knowing that I wasn't dishonest towards someone. So... Um, first thing, the promo that we've got going on, it's not really a promo, it's a package. I was talking about it the other day on video, telling everyone about a preseason win total package. Every preseason win total future bet that I have placed, which is 12, you will get with a write-up, there's a lot of information there, guys, college and NFL, for $30. These are not liens. These are premium selections, and there's one top-rated selection in there, and it is in the NFL. So you're going to get college. You're going to get NFL. And these are the ones out of every Power 5 school and then even about three dozen non-Power 5 schools that I broke down, I pulled out what I thought was a great bet, over or under. And then I also chose a handful of the NFLs that I just thought were wrong. So... Make sure you jump on that. It's $30. Everything's already on the website. Has been for a couple of days. A bunch of people have already signed up. They love the write-ups. They've already bet them. Um, but being that a lot of the, well, not a lot of these teams, all these teams start this coming week, uh, mo mainly on Saturday. But we've got one or two of them that start this coming Thursday. So I'm only going to keep this package up for purchase until tomorrow. So after tomorrow, you will not be able to purchase this. It's 30 bucks. It's well worth it. You will make your money back within one play. One play. And I truly believe that out of these 12, we're a sure shot for at least 10 of them. And I love all of them. So make sure you go jump on that. Go to the website. It's on, um, it's on the purchase page. It says Chase's preseason win total package, college and NFL. It's not separate. You get all of it with one purchase. And then today's the last day for discounts for college football and NFL. Being that everything starts college-wise this coming week, this this week was just kind of like, you know, your first rounders, couple games, you know, one good game, one that doesn't mean a lot. This is the day to get it. Because after today, at midnight tonight, there will be no more discount. It will go back up to normal price, and it will not be negotiable. I know a lot of people have been asking me, like, hey, uh, you know, I waited, but I, can I still get it? And I'm like, yeah, you can still get it till midnight. But don't come up to me tomorrow at 6 o'clock tomorrow night and be like, hey, man, I got busy. I forgot. Will you go ahead and give me the discount? Nope. I will not. Tonight at midnight. Listen to what I'm saying. Tonight at midnight. So make sure you jump on that if you want to get a really, really big discount and something that you're going to make a ton of money with this year. Last year, we absolutely killed the NFL. We had a great college season. But I have put so much work into college football this offseason. I just can't wait to see the turnout that we have. I can promise you, I will change the way you look at college football forever this year. So let's do a recap of yesterday. We had three MLB plays. MLB, Boston Red Sox, San Diego Padres, over nine runs. They landed on nine. A couple of my customers got it at eight and a half, but 
I didn't. I got it at nine. So it was a push. Nolan Void, kick it off. Kick it off. We had the Cincinnati Reds money line minus one fifteen. Got our asses kicked. That means we lost one hundred and fifteen dollars for hundred unit hundred dollar betters. I myself lost eleven fifty on that game. One thousand one hundred fifty dollars because I bet two win a thousand on each premium play. And um, top play since uh, Cleveland Indians run line minus one and a half. Nice winner. That would have been a higher rated play. More units laid. A profitable day in the MLB. That's what we do. And we're not going to tell you that we won something that we didn't. We tell you we tell you the juice that we lose. So we don't say that hey, we just lost one, one, lost one, but we don't calculate that somebody laid a dollar fifty and bet four units on it. So they lost two more units. Where are those two units in a recap? Uh, CFL, Saskatchewan, minus nine and a half, a blowout. Easy winner. The NFL, the New Orleans Saints, minus three, another winner. And then we had three college football plays. And I thought long and hard about these. And I tried to find a reason not to play college football yesterday. I'm like, yeah, I don't want to play week one. I want to, I want to wait. I want to wait till the real week one and not just feel like I'm forcing myself. But I broke them down every possible way under the sun that I could. And I couldn't get away from it. So we had Miami plus seven, a winner. They lost, but they only lost by four. We also had the under, 46 and a half, another winner. And then we, and then we had the uh, under 72, or 72 and a half, whichever you got it at, in the Hawaii-Arizona game. That one did lose. But a two and one day in college football, a one and no day in the NFL, a one and no day in the CFL, and a one and one day in college baseball, or in college baseball, in, in Major League Baseball, once you count the push and take that out of the equation, but a top play winner. So a fantastic, huge money-making Saturday, and we're going to carry it over into Sunday. Today, we've got one NFL play. There's only one game on. We do have a play in it. I gave out a CFL prediction on Twitter. So make sure that if you're not following me on Twitter, at PitchChase, do it, because I give out at least a few free plays every week. So gave out a free CFL play today. And then we've got uh, a nice little slate of MLB with a top play. Um, and the top play goes, make sure that I'm telling you right, at 4.10 p.m. So you've still got plenty of time to get the top play if you want it. But guys, the most important thing, make sure you jump on the preseason win total package for $30. If you're wanting to get on NFL or college football or both, make sure you take advantage of the discount. Don't spend more money than you have to. I mean, hell, if you want to wait till tomorrow, that's fine. I'll gladly take more money if you want to, but don't do it, guys. It's not, I mean, seriously, when you, when you know you can save the money, do it. Let me tell you something. That's how you, I mean, that right there is as good as wins. Being able to not have to spend the money in the first place to still get the same information you would get if you paid double the money. So make sure you jump on that. Let's get you on a free play, and uh, then after that, I'm gonna head out of. Um, I'm gonna head out, go to the Apple Store. I will have my phone on me if anybody needs me. I'll check my email when I get back home. But usually, I try to wrap everything up and be done for the weekend. Usually at about one one thirty on Sundays because we don't have a race card today. That's next week. Patrick's already. Um, somewhat in town. I met him the other day and he's hanging around the Charlotte area at some of the uh, motorsports parks doing some work and then he'll be attending the race in Darlington, South Carolina next week and uh, who knows? I may go with him. We'll see because uh, we've got college football that weekend so I'm going to be attending a game and um, of course we've still got Major League Baseball going on which I won't take my eyes off of until that is officially over. So let's give you a free play. Let's do it in Major League Baseball. I'm going to go and take a chance on a pretty pretty significant underdog here. 4.07 p.m. For, or excuse me, 4.10 p.m. as well. Oakland, Oakland Athletics, San Francisco Giants playing. It's the Bay Rivalry. They call it the bridge, I think. Playing in Oakland. Oakland's laying $1.65. You get plus $1.50 if you take San Francisco. You got Anderson and Webb. San Francisco's not you know, known for hitting left-handers on the road very well. Anderson's certainly not a bad pitcher. Webb, he's still 
There's not enough information out there to, to say what he's going to be able to do long term in the position that he's in. But he is a great pitcher and one of the most commanding pitchers that I've seen all year. He's not overly dominant in his fastball. His changeups aren't the most beautiful thing in the world. But he commands his pitches damn well. I mean, very, very commanding pitch. And he has three solid pitches and even a fourth and a fifth in his arsenal that he can use in the later innings as he starts trying to wind down before a reliever comes in. I really like him today. I think that his commanding pitches, being that Oakland, even though they've had a fantastic season, they've done really well, they've been an offensive powerhouse for a good portion of it, I think they're going to struggle against Webb today. And to be honest with you, Anderson, the way he, th he hangs those balls right over the left side of the plate – I really think that San Francisco is going to be able to get to him early, rattle him a little bit, bullpen will take over. Now, San Francisco has a great bullpen, one of the best bullpens in baseball if you really want to dig down deep into it. And that's something that we do. Other people that go out there and just pick a game because it's a good team, what did I tell you guys two weeks ago? What did I tell you? The Yankees, the Dodgers, and the Astros are losing all value, and come September the 1st, their value is gone. You can't lay three fifty with them or a dollar sixty on the run line when they're only going to work for a win forty percent of the time at best. The Dodgers are mathematically locked in. The Yankees are not, but we know that it's going to happen. The Astros are not, but we also know that it's going to happen. When these guys get to that point, they are not going to go out there and risk anything to hinder what they can do in the postseason. They'll take losses. They'll, they'll allow people to play spoiler. They don't care because those teams aren't going to be there in October. They are. We know that the Dodgers choke in the postseason. We know Kershaw chokes, that Dave Roberts chokes. Right now, they are playing like the best team in baseball. They want to keep that going. They're not going to go out there and deplete what they have for regular season games that at this point just don't matter. Guys, if your handicapper knew anything about baseball, he wouldn't blame it on baseball. He'd know there's no value. Anybody the other day that would have taken a team like that as their top rate, and don't get me wrong, I fell into a Dodgers trap this week too at minus $1.40. I did, but I had to do it based on pitching. It wasn't based on offense. It was based on pitching and the numbers were there. I should have laid off the game completely and I knew it, but I didn't. I fell into the trap. But it sure as hell was not a top player, nor would it have ever been. There was not one stat out there for anyone to be able to say that was a top-rated selection by any system you run. No way. It's not possible because there's no value in it. But yet, they blame the MLB. They blame players that don't play up to their talent level. They're overpaid. They're underperforming. Maybe they just don't give a shit. And if you paid attention, you'd know that. But that's the difference between a capper that knows the sport, studies every in and out of that sport every day, seven days a week, and does it in everything he releases to his paying clients. There's a reason you'll never hear me make an excuse for a loss. Now, I'll question something that a team does. Like, I question when Yarbrough got pulled out the other day when he was getting ready to pitch a nine-inning shutout. And he was still pitching great. He was pitching better in the latter part than he was in the beginning. That was stupid. But they still won the game. But I'm not going to sit there and say that, oh, they just don't care. He's a puss, whatever, MLB. That, you know, just stop. Just stop. Seriously. I mean, do you believe your own bullshit? Because the people that are having to pay for it certainly don't. They just believe they've lost a lot of money, and they want it back. So, guys, if you're sick of losing hundreds of units and then getting excuses and then not being able to have confidence that you're going to get it back in the long haul, chasewins.com. Let's go get it, people. All right, so podcast coming up this week with me and Mike Davis. Uh, we were going to record it yesterday until I kind of had a little snafu and had a little fender bender on Friday. So um, probably going to do it tomorrow, maybe Tuesday. I got to call Mike this afternoon. We'll work out a few details. We'll get that out there. Um, me and Kyle are going to be doing a couple of things as well. So anyway, let's get back on this. I got way off track there. San Francisco's got a good bullpen. Their bullpen's going to take over. That's going to pose even more problems for Oakland's lineup. Anderson, San Francisco can get to him early. I think I may have said that backwards a couple minutes ago. Anderson is going to get rocked early. And then when their bullpen takes over, that's going to allow 
a consistent flow of on-base hits. That right there, I think it's going to be a competitive game. I think it's going to be fairly low scoring. But I think San Francisco comes out top on top for what they can do in the first four innings. I think that's going to be the kicker. What happens in the latter part of it is just going to be what we end up with. I truly believe that the first four innings are the most crucial for San Francisco to be able to take this game as such a big underdog. I'm taking a risk here, I know, but I've got to take plus 150 on San Francisco because of the pitching matchup today, the bullpen advantage by far, and at this particular point in time, I actually trust San Francisco's lineup just a little bit more today than I do Oakland's. That wouldn't happen many days because I love Oakland's lineup. But today I'm going to take a chance with the underdog at plus 150. San Francisco Giants, mark your pitcher, Webb Anderson. Let's go have a big day. Sorry for the rants. I just get so sick and tired of hearing people run their mouth, can't back it up. Then I have people coming to me wanting me to fix it and everything. Guys, I'll, I'll take on any and all clients. But if you're going to come with me, you're going to do it my way, and we're going to win money. And we're not going to make excuses on the days that we lose because losing does happen. And it will continue to happen over time. Losing just happens. Just make sure you get with somebody honest and somebody that you can know that after you pay your hard-earned money, you know in the bottom of your heart you can trust them. And they're good people and that you can put your trust and loyalty into them. Do they put the same into you? Good luck to you all. Have a great day, great Sunday. God bless to you. Wager smart. I'll see you back for Monday. Make sure you jump on the preseason win total package for 30 bucks make sure you jump on the early bird stuff for football get the discount and we're going to go out there and kick it off with a bang next week love you guys see you tomorrow